sisterhood in my May wrap up and my June TBR. Um, May has been such a busy month for me. I've it's my been my last full month of uni, so I really had I've just been working my butt off on my last final projects and stuff. Um, so I haven't really had very much time for reading. I've also tried to just make sure I've been able to see people before they leave. So I had not really very much time for reading, which is meant that I've only finished two books this month. But I'm also still reading. I've also started another one. Um, so I shall go through what I've read this month, what I'm currently reading, and the stuff that I'm hopefully going to read in June. So the first book that I read in May was It's Not How Good You Are, It's How Good You Want To Be by Paul Arden. I have a full book review of this, so I'll leave that. Um, I'll leave the link to that in the down bar so you can check that out if you want to. This is a really cool little book pocket book. Um, just really inspirational, really gets you thinking about life, about goal setting, about where you want to go, about your mentality, about positivity, that sort of thing. Um, this was just under £6 on Amazon and I think it's probably going to be that in shops so if you see it I definitely recommend you pick it up especially if you're doing some sort of creative degree or you want to go into creative industry or in some creative business because it's really great for that sort of thing. The second book that I read this month is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Now, I was originally planning on doing a full book review for this however because um, I've been so busy and I've had so much work to do I haven't got around to it but so I'll just talk a little bit about this in um, about this now. This is such a great book it is um, it's sort of like a sequel to The Wizard of Oz, but obviously not by the person that wrote it, Wizard of Oz. Um, and Dorothy is not, Dor Dorothy and Oz are not the world and the people that we remember them to be. Um, a girl from Kansas called Amy gets um, transported to the land of Oz, and Amy is from our world. She knows about The Wizard of Oz. She's read the books, she's seen the films. However, when she arrives, it's not the world that she knows. Um, good isn't necessarily, doesn't mean good. Wicked doesn't necessarily mean bad. Everything is just sort of tipped on its head, Oz is dying and Amy gets recruited by a group of very interesting people, people that you don't know whether you trust and by the end of the book, which is it's a pretty hefty book, you still don't know whether you trust and the main objective of, Dorothy, of Amy's mission, as you can probably tell from the title, is Dorothy Must Die. Now I found the synopsis on the back a little bit misleading as actually a lot of things that it's taught, that it says, it, it, it's just not in the book, it's not necessarily relevant. I feel like they may come up in the second book, and, but we shall see. Overall, I absolutely loved this. It was so fun. Um, my main sort of issue with it was that Danielle Page killed off a few characters like within the first hundred pages and because you were only just getting to know them, like they weren't even like primary characters, like important ones. It was quite hard to sort of feel for them because you really just met them. You not really, you don't really have any, very much con like contact with them. Right? You don't really have the time to emotionally invest in them, and then they're gone. Um, but at the same time, it, I really, I did love this. It was overall, it was amazing, um, and it was just so interesting to see the world of Oz from a different perspective. I love the love Wicked. Um, so it was great to again see just a completely different perspective, a different take on um, The Wizard of Oz and yeah, if you're looking for a really fun read, something a bit more, a bit different, definitely check this out. The other book that I was reading this month is Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. I started this in April I think um, and I haven't really got much further, I'm about I'm 17 chapters in. Um, it is, it's absolutely hefty but as I said I've been really busy this month. And when you've got other books that you're really enjoying and you already know how a book is going to end because I've seen the films, it's a bit hard to motivate yourself to read it but I'm hoping I can get to this um, and finish this in June. So um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is the first book that is on my June TBR. The other book that I started in the month of May is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. Um, this is the second book in Throne of Glass um, series. I'm loving this so far. I've only been reading it for a few days and I'm over 100 pages through. Loving it so far. My only problem is that the tagline um, for this book is crowned by evil, bound by GT, divided by love. Which indicates that the love triangle is going to get more of a main role, which I'm not exactly looking forward to. And love, triangle, love triangles are my favourite thing, but at the same time I'm really interested to see who Selena ends up with. So I'm really excited to finish this and hopefully I can finish this quite soon as I've pretty much finished uni now. Um, my TBR for June is looking pretty hefty because I've already got those two books and I've got at least three um, that I'm going to be adding to it next. However, as I said, I finished, I'm going home from uni um, for the summer in a few days so I should have lots of time to read and just catch my books and just, see, um, just read and yeah, just do lots of hopefully book reviews for you once I get through them. The next book on my TBR for June is The Scorch Trials by James Knapp Dashner and this is the second in the Maze Runner series. Um, 
I saw the film trailer for this for this a few weeks ago and it looks so good so I definitely want to get this before I see the film just because I, I, I normally try and do that because the box is normally better than films um, and yeah the, the trailer looked amazing so I'm really looking forward to getting into this book. Um, another of the books that's on my Jean TBR is kind of going off, off kilter a bit from what I've been reading lately. Um, I've been reading a lot of fantasy, a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of fantasy really. Um, and the next, so the next book is *The Moon and More* by Sarah Dessen. Sarah Dessen is been, is one of my favorite, um, has been one of my favorite authors as I've got a bit, as I've grown up. Um, her books are contemporaries. Um, they're really light-hearted, really, really fun. They always have a bit of a message at the end, which is always like really cool. Um, and they all, the majority of them is around um, a, beach, a seaside town called Colby and the majority of the time it is a girl who is visiting Colby and the, and the Moon and Moor which is not her most recent book but the one before that is her second most recent book. Um, the girl in this who I think is called Emmeline is from Colby um, so I'm really really looking forward to getting into this um, I guess just to get me into summer um, as I've been stuck in my room for the last few weeks doing my work so I really want to just get into a summer book and get um, looking forward to summer and hopefully, which normally Sarah Dessen does, she can definitely get me into that for those feels. And the last thing that's on my Jean TBR is something that was on my May TBR but I never had the chance and the time to get to it and that was um, Lock and Key Volume 1, Welcome to Lovecraft. I said in my May, May TBR and um, that I've heard amazing things about this. Um, it's meant to be sort of... Meant, a little bit horror, a little bit of magical realism comic book I think. Um, not really 100% sure but I do know at the same time it's kind of one of those things hot that I feel like is quite hard to explain. Um, but I'm really hoping I can get to this because it looks so good and I know that I think the full series of this is out now so if I do enjoy it it means I can just get straight into it. Um, so I am really looking forward to getting into this in June um, so definitely look out for a review because this is sort of thing that I will definitely do a review for if I enjoy it. There you have it guys, my May, May wrap up my Jean TBR. Um, as I said, didn't read too much this month because I've been so busy, but I'm going home from uni um, in a few days, well, a few days while I'm filming this, which is making me really sad because I don't want to go home. When I say uni, uni's great, love uni, love Nottingham, just don't want to go home, okay? Those are my feels, I know about that. Um, but yes, so hopefully June I should be able to get a lot of reading done now I've got not got as much work. Um, so definitely subscribe if you want to see um, any video reviews that I do because I, if I if and when I finish these or get to any any other books I will definitely do video reviews and pop them up for you guys. Um, so remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this and I shall see you next time.